welcome to Hillboro and today we are on the south side of the St. Anthony Sand Dunes along the Egin to Hamer Road. So that right there would be considered choke cherry. If you followed us on our previous videos, this is the road we use to connect everything from the sand dunes all the way over to uh, Birch Creek, Arco, and did our route around the INL. Today we're going to do another route through the desert. I've got two of my kids with me right now, Summer and Riker. And we are going to meet up with the rest of the family, including Grandma and Grandpa. And we are going to go all the way to our mountain, or the North Manan Butte. And we're going to hike it with them. Now this ride may not be nearly as long as some of the other rides we've done in our previous videos. But uh, for today, and for the fun activity of spending time together as a family, it's going to be a perfect ride to connect the St. Anthony Sand Dunes uh, to the desert south and to the buttes. There's a lot to do out in that desert. There's a fun little berm place uh, that I haven't been to since before I was married over, wow, 12 years ago. Long time now. Uh, there's some cool features in the lava rocks out there as well as just the butte itself. It is still kind of warm today, but nothing like the past couple weeks. Haven't made a riding video in a while. That's part of the reason is uh, when it gets really hot out here at the sand dunes and in this desert, I have zero interest to just sit and film in the heat. It's just not fun. So we'll go meet up with the rest of the family. And on the way back, I think we'll switch the kids. So I think Millie and Callie will come back home with me and maybe we'll take a different route and post this route for you guys to uh, enjoy if you'd like to follow along via Onyx or the other maps. On that fence and on that hill is the train tracks. So now we follow this trail to the left. Turn left, it should take us where we're going, but if you would have turned right, it would have crossed over the train tracks and on to Sage Junction. Similar to if you were doing the Atomic Run or just getting out to Atomic City or just riding to Sage Junction to Mud Lake or anything like that. To our first gate. Hopefully we don't run into too many of those. It opens up back here and it's fun. Look, we're almost there. We seen you guys coming way out in the desert, kicking up dust. Who do we got? 
Riker and Summer? Yeah. Wow, you are a trooper, Summer. How was it? Fun. That would be fun on a side-by-side -side out there. What'd you do? Swat? Swass? <laughs> We beat you guys here. You won't walk you just walk them on. Oh. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Good morning, buddy. <laughs> well, we all made it to the North Manan Butte Trailhead. Just right up there, that big old butte right behind me. Uh, there's a steep trail and then a hike around it. I've hiked up it before, but I haven't gone all the way around. Hopefully, maybe today we can. Still kind of a warm day today. Like It was hot riding out here. Like I say, it's always fun to go for a ride, especially out in the desert of southeast Idaho. But you can't forget the fun, simple things, like a fun hike that are just close and simple to do, but oftentimes are overlooked. So why don't you ride today, Radan? I had an accident. I was saving a hummingbird from pecking its beak on my window in my shop. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going to help this poor little hummingbird out. So I got my ladder out and a fishnet. I climbed up 16 feet up onto this wall and uh, reached up and caught the hummingbird. And the ladder toppled and I went down right on this whole side. And broke several ribs. But yeah, it's, it was a little over four weeks ago and I'm still feeling it. But I'm, I'm going to go on this hike. I feel good enough to do that. That's also the other reason why we hadn't been riding together is dad just hasn't felt up to riding because of that accident but i think that's getting better and also the weather's supposed to be getting cooler so hopefully we'll get out some more again yeah i'm not done hey isaac what what is this the crocs you give me crap on my shoes all the time well, look at them they're half wore out I like Crocs. Look at his toe is poking out of this. <laughs> All right, Isaac, look. If you're going to insist on wearing Crocs, you know. <laughs> How about a new pair? For me? For you. Even with Velcro on it to hold them on tight, they're brand spanking new with tread. They call those lockers. <laughs> Hill lockers. I got new shoes. He doesn't have to give me crap about my Crocs anymore that I just about lost the, look at this. I just about lost the heel on. Okay. Uh oh, I gotta go find I'll it. go pick him up. <laughs> I littered. They give me so much crap about my shoes. Joke's on them, that's how I get new shoes. I think it's about time we started. What do you think, Walker? Do you think you're going to be okay with this? <laughs> Yay, let's go! I hold an aerial! Oh, it's hot. It is hot. How are you doing, Walker, buddy? He's just trooping. He's up with the boys. The cracks in the mountain. Yeah. There's a parking lot. How high are we? We were like, what? I don't know. Three quarters? Oh. Wow, Riker. He found a cave. What do you think, bud? Oh, we gotta keep going. Yeah. It's not climbing, it's tired. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah.
Well, we're most of the way up through the steepest part. Yeah. Summer, is this hard? Yeah. Are you, can you do it? <laughs> nope. Oh, don't say that. You say yes. Can yeah. you do it? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Farting and pooping on me. It is so funny. It's really concentrated. You guys found a dollhouse. Yeah. A playhouse with a window. So we made it to the top of the Banan North Butte or our mountain. Walker's getting a little fressy. Jocelyn's gonna try and start making her way down while the rest of us try to get around this butte. Bye, Goonies! Let's go hike around the rim. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's go hike around the rim! Yay! The volcano! Isn't it crazy how a hiking terrain can change so much? Millie and I are standing on pretty much the northernmost part of the butte and uh, you can see the sand dunes right out there. We parked the truck about there. Holy crap, what the heck is these things? Fire ants, they're biting. Go, 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 go. They're in your hair. Look at this, these things. I can feel it on my back. Ouch. Are they biting? On my shirt. Are they biting? There's one on your shirt. Yeah, look at this. Gee whiz. That hurt. I don't know what the heck those were. They were flying ants. Well, let me guess. They attacked you, they attacked your head. Yeah. Is that right? We were standing on a little peak. <laughs> When I was a younger guy, I was working for a builder, an older builder, and we were building a log house. Anyway, we were being pestered with flying ants, and we were up on the top level putting logs up. And anyway, the old builder, the old wise builder, he puts a two by 10 up above us, about, oh, six feet or so, and uh, put a coat over it. And that's where all the flying ants went to the high spot. So those old old timer builders, they're pretty sharp. You learn something new every day. I keep yeah. seeing bugs that are like furry balls, little furry balls stuck together oh, they're, in the orange. They're ants. They're furry ants. If you see another one, I'll show you. Fuzzy. So Millie, that's your fuzzy bugs stuck together. It's a single ant. Where'd he go? There he is. Where'd he go? Do you know those were ants? I thought they were just little caterpillars. Caterpillars? <laughs> you can see the upper fork, Snake River. The Henry's. And it comes from Henry's Outlet and the Teton Outlet. And then the Palisades, the lower fork, and they meet right there. And they come together and then go around the buttes. And then they go down to Idle Falls and then down the valley past. Pocatello and all the way past Boise and into Washington. This is cool. This is, I had to go all the way around to find this. This is like a natural amphitheater. You can have a concert right here. Like there's sneaks right there and sneaks up here. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Climbing up here. Holy smokes. <sighs> I might be doing too big for this one. This is like a little worm up there, a big worm. This is my room. Your room? Yeah. I even have a little peephole. What? Hold on. Oh, there you are. <laughs> see if we can see Riker. Say hi, Riker. <laughs> so we're on the south side of the North Manan Butte, and we found like an amphitheater, like right in here. You can go in there opens up like a big old amphitheater. Natural. And now we're standing on stuff like stuff you'd think you'd see on Mars. Or the moon. Or maybe the moon. This is cool.
So back in 2017, in, the, in August, almost exactly seven years ago, uh, the solar eclipse, the total lunar eclipse, came through this area. And in fact, the Benan Buttes, south and northern, were the epicenter of the eclipse, as well as in Archer, which is down the ways upriver that way, which is where my sister's house was, and that's where we were. Had front row seats to the best show. It's pretty cool. The inside of the southern butte was completely rented out by a nudist colony. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't going to get any suntans that day. <laughs> Not with that eclipse, but that's kind of funny. Kind of a weird thing, I guess, but what better place? Yeah. They're stuck in a <laughs> volcano, an active volcano, nonetheless. If anyone has ever wondered about hiking our mountain or the Northern Butte, I say go for it. And if you're not able to get around the whole thing, make sure you get to the south side. This is cool. So if you guys are at the sand dunes, traveling through town and you want a cool place to hike, and you're not afraid to die by a volcano, <laughs> if you guys had heard of the Biscuit Basin geyser explosion, that happened last week. So who knows, we could be uh, standing on a live volcano that goes off any day now so if you're afraid of that stuff stay away <laughs> millie did the ram and she's back <laughs> that you've been waiting forever but we found something way cool up there and it took like an hour and a half just to film it and play sorry welcome back we made it made it that's a long wait for you guys it was. <laughs> so that place we were at is called the Wind Bowl and the Glass Mountains. So if you guys are ever going to hike the North Manan Butte, I say go, if you can choose anywhere, go there. That was way cool. That was like the highlight of the hike. Look at that. You guys made a little camp out. Kick, 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 kick. Well, the hike up the Butte was a lot of fun. It was fun to be with family, but we've switched the kids now and uh, Kelly and Millie are going to ride home with me. We'll do a different route. Hey, see ya. Thanks for the hike. Have it was a good fun. time. Something I wanted to do all my life again. Here I am. I'm big Southern Butte, going all over the desert. I need this Butte. Never done it before. He's healed now. I'm healed. You guys ready to go? Yeah. Let's do it. I don't know why, but it always ends up that it's late when we get back to the truck. So we're back and uh, found a couple of routes through the desert south of the big dunes towards Sage Junction and the Butte. And so there's a couple ways around it. There is a couple places you've got to watch out for uh, private property fences. But uh, we went back, it wasn't too bad, was it? Yeah. Kind of, kind of bumpy. Yeah, What's your favorite of part of today? Uh, I don't know. I like seeing the lava formation, like the little playground thing. That was fun. What's your favorite part of today? I like that cool shade. The that shade. Which, oh, the one we were sitting under the rock? Yeah, because there wasn't much other shade all day. It's pretty warm today considering that it was much cooler than the past few weeks. If you're ever at the dunes and you want to just try something else, a quick hour, hour and a half ride, going down to Manan area is actually a lot of fun. A lot of fun for side-by-sides and four-wheelers and lots of things to do. Just explore, get used to the trails. Doesn't matter what you have as long as you just get out and you have fun. There's a lot of amazing things you can find just right in our backyard. We hope you guys get out. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Bye. See ya. <laughs> you want us to video that? Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> That's a blooper. Enjoying this nice hike. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just checking the wind. It's going that way. There's no wind, I'm here to tell you. Until just now. <laughs>